My name is Jeremy, this is Red Means Recording, and welcome back to my series of videos on the ASM Hydrosynth. We have talked about a lot of stuff already, so check the playlist if you are coming to this video in the middle of things. Today we're going to talk about the envelopes and LFOs, and I think that will probably be all we talk about because um, they are complex, and that's good because modulation is the key to making interesting sounds. So when you have a synth, you have uh, an amp, which is your um, amplitude, sound over time, and you have um, your filter. And both of these like to have envelopes and LFOs. So the ASM Hydrosynth, the Hydrosynth, has um, the envelopes and LFOs 1 and 2 normalized to the amp and filter uh, reverse, respectively. So let's start with the amp. You can see over here in the panel that envelope 2 and LFO 2 have these little dots. I mean, this is your sound structure, so you know you can tell that L envelope two and LFO two are assigned to amp. Now, that does not mean that you can't assign these to other things. You can, but they are normalized to this, and uh, that will always work on this, as far as I know. Envelope two, I pressed it, and I got to the first page of our envelope. Over here on the oscilloscope, the oscope little readout thing, we have a readout of this. So I'm going to start adjusting stuff. Attack. Okay, sustain and release. Now, 36 seconds these can go up to. So that's dope. Delay is going to delay the onset of your envelope. And again, this can go up to 32 seconds. Um, so uh, one of the things I like to use that for is, and I'll show you this while we build this sound, uh, delaying things by a certain amount of BPM so I can create like these sort of like rhythmic popping up of sounds here and there. Hold is going to increase after decay between that and sustain. So it's an ADHSR envelope, which is pretty cool. Over here in BPM sync, if you turn this on, all of these now become beat divisions which is really, really cool. Everything but sustain, but that doesn't really matter. That's just when you're holding down the key. So this gives you BPM control over your thing. And this comes into super handy when we start looping these envelopes. So now that we have a basic ADSR, let's go to page two and look at these controls. One of the things I absolutely love about the Hydrosynth is that it has exponential and logarithmic controls uh, options for a lot of the things like glide, and also the envelopes and LFOs. And what that means is, as I sort of move this, you're gonna see the shape changing over here. So this is like really quick onset. And when you get over to super logarithmic or negative logarithmic, so exponential logarithmic, it's gonna pop up. And this gives you really cool sound shaping over every aspect here. When you turn legato on, other notes that are played during this envelope will take up the envelope that um, is being played. And this is uh, useful in mono mode. So if you have a solo, it'll all borrow from that same envelope. Let's, let's go ahead and loop this envelope. You can loop it anywhere from two to infinite. And for this, we're going to loop it for infinite. So now we have an ADSR looped envelope, which is kind of like an LFO. People that use modular gear will be familiar with the idea of an envelope going from sort of an AR stage to a loop stage. Now remember I said I could BPM sync this, and I still have control over the exponent or logarithmic curve of this. And that's one way you can sort of get a side chain sound. Um, 
Um, so that was the amp envelope. You have all the same controls over the filter envelope. So if I change this to, uh, let's say, filter one, let's go into a bandpass mode or something like that. Something that's going to be really, really obvious. Turn our oscillator down. Turn our drive up. Go into envelope one. Turn this up. So now envelope one is modulating the cutoff because it's normal to it. And uh, let's go ahead and turn our BPM sync on. Let's go ahead and loop this forever. So that's something you can do with the uh, filter envelopes. Um, let's do something interesting. Let's go to envelope three, which is not assigned to anything by default, and we're going to assign it to the mod matrix. <laughs> we're going to assign it to oscillator one and we're going to um, assign it to the wave. And so, by the way, that means that it's going to pick a new wave from that. So let's go into envelope three. And um, did we turn that up? No, we did not. Let's go ahead and turn that up. Okay. So let's turn BPM sync on. Let's go over to envelope loop forever. Let's go ahead and add a delay of a quarter note and no sustain and a decay of eighth. You can hear that kick in. So I'm already creating rhythmic interest by looping another envelope and assigning it to something else. Assign this to oscillator two, wave. Actually, let's assign oscillator envelope four to it. Oscillator envelope four, we want to be, let's see, PPM sync on. Envelope loop infinite, decay. Let's make this longer than the other one. Excuse me, delay. And we're going to make this like this. Go back to our mod matrix. If we pan these, we'll hear this a little bit more. So through four looping envelopes, three looping envelopes, and one um, amp envelope, which we've done nothing to at this point. We could if we wanted to. I've created rhythmic interest, timbre interest, all sync to the beat because I'm using those looping envelopes with delay and different things. And, you know, again, I can go in and adjust the curves. Go into envelope three and adjust the curve. Since we've pretty much exhausted what we're going to talk about envelopes, let's talk about LFOs. I'm going to do something really nuts. I'm going to uh, assign LFO three to envelope three, and I'm going to change the attack. Actually, let's check the decay. decay. Let's BPM sync our LFO. And now let's assign LFO 4 to envelope 4. And we're going to talk about the LFOs more in a second here. So now you're going to hear those two LFOs adjusting the decay of the looping envelopes in three and four. And because they're looped and synced to the beat, you get these really interesting rhythmic variations on the modulation that they're doing. You're starting to understand the power of having all that control over over envelopes and LFOs. I hope you are. Okay, so we've talked about the envelopes. Let's go ahead and hit our sound again and talk about the LFOs. We already said that LFO one is normal to filter. So if I play my sound, turn down my cutoff frequency, turn off my LFO knob, then LFO one is going to 
affect the filter. You can see over here that these lights are sort of dimming and blinking. This is really useful visual feedback and they'll all change. It's all like, again, it's very modular. It's like having a uh, LED like on maths or something telling you exactly what's going on with the, uh, with the thing, which I just think is a really cool touch. So, um, LFOs, multiple shapes. We have sine, am I an LFO one? Sine, triangle, saw up, saw down, a square, a 27% pulse, so we're sort of getting into modulating the pulse width of that square. Sample and hold, baby. Let's go ahead and turn the BPM sync on this on. So sample and hold is a random value. Noise. Random. You can hear that acting on the wave scan. And uh, we'll talk about trig sync poly uh, mode over here, but basically what that means is that triggering the LFO can be polyphonic, which is useful in this case. Okay, wave step. Now, this is where things get interesting. So um, we're gonna go to page two and we're gonna look at our steps here where it says steps eight. We're gonna hit step edit. You can now create a custom LFO. By adjusting the steps on screen. Dope. So uh, let's go back to our mod matrix and turn this up. Back to LFO three. Adjust our steps. We've created this rhythmic sequence. And if that wasn't cool enough, we can smooth this. Uh, yeah, uh, modulation is amazing. Um, and as we saw with um, our LFOs modulating our envelopes, LFOs can modulate other LFOs. So we are going to set LFO 3 to be the volume for oscillator 2. LFO 3. Let's make this a ramp. Great. LFO 4 to LFO 3. Envelope three, loop, decay, envelope three, mixer, oscillator three volume, sign, LFO five, envelope three.
LFO2, oscillator 2, wave, LFO2, oscillator 3, wave, just a little bit, LFO2, oscillator 2, wave, just a little bit, LFO5, LFO2, rate, and then LFO2. <laughs> So by <laughs> it's so cool by creating uh, looping envelopes and um, having LFOs assigned to um, so by creating looping envelopes and by um, having LFOs and other things modulate envelopes and LFOs times and rates and then having various things cross mod other parameters you can get incredible complex modular synth sounding stuff damn cool <laughs> that was envelopes and lfos um let me make sure i haven't missed anything so um lfos can um delay do, 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 do. you can delay the lfos onset you can fade it in so delay will just move it over from where you start the, uh, pressing the key but fade will actually fade the lfo in which is kind of cool <laughs> Phase will uh, turn the oscillator cycle uh, from zero to 100, oh, zero to 360 degrees out of phase. You can see a representation of that here. Level. Um, so this is going to be the uh, power of the LFO. Like you can see that our oscope is showing us the level uh, control there. If you have an LFO assigned to a whole bunch of stuff, um, you can assign this to like a macro and let's do that real quick just so i can show this off so we are going to assign lfo1 to macro we will take this all the way down and then we are going to copy this lfo2 level all the way down assign lfo3 level so now i've created a macro that will turn all of the lfos down at once uh, their level not their rate <laughs> Instant control over complexity of our soundscape. Oh, that's cool. So, uh, delay, fade in, phase, level. Over here, um, we talked about the smoothing algorithm, and then an LFO can be a one shot. So, you can loop envelopes and you can one shot LFOs. Just 
It's so cool. <laughs> it's so goddamn cool. So that is the envelope and LFO section of the Hydrosynth. Incredibly powerful. I love it. I love like having five envelopes and five LFOs is just fantastic. Sometimes I wish I had more, but the modulation is one of the most important things in a synthesizer to get interesting sounds. And God bless ASM for having gone full ham on uh, the modulation section. My name is Jeremy. This is Red Means Recording. Thank you for watching. Check out the rest of the videos in the Hydrosynth playlist if you are interested in this synthesizer. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.